Shelly's a busy mom with a husband, two kids, and ever-accumulating clutter. So how do you feel about going through the kids' artwork and purging some of it? Oh, purging it? <laughs> she avoids making the decision altogether and decides to deal with it later, but later never comes. I've got just 20 minutes to get on the treadmill. I feel a little stressed when I'm at home, actually, a lot of the time, to be honest, because I'd like it to be a place I can just relax that's neat and tidy and, and nice to look at, but some of the rooms are a real mess, and it's always hanging over my head. Can't we put something away? Yeah, after I work out, I guess I am a bit of a pack rat because I'm sentimental about certain things, and uh, I find it hard working with anything. <laughs> This bedroom is full of distractions and to-dos. What I want to do is create a relaxing space. So, this treadmill, laundry, ironing board, it's all going out. How are you, Shelly? I'm good, thanks, how are you? Good, great, I brought the clutter crew. Hi, hello, hi, hi. hi. Here's the plan. With husband Craig's help, Clutter Crew will empty out the office and bring everything downstairs to sort. Now Shelly, Craig, and I are going to assess the bedroom. The big problem with this bedroom is there are all these things calling to you. Like, for example, the treadmill, you know, that says, oh, I should be exercising. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to do about this? The basement. What about the ironing board? Closet. closet. In the Maybe closet? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there another place to put these wand bottles? If we clear up the laundry room, we have a tub in there that I could be doing that. Okay. Whose responsibility is it to fold and put the clothing away? Mostly mine. Why isn't the job getting completed? Partly getting distracted, I guess, by a lot of other duties I have. And I guess I'd like things to be a little more organized. Maybe, maybe have some sort of a, a system, I guess, for laundry. Do laundry only once or twice a week. Do it, fold it, and put it away, all in the same session. If you do one load at a time, it never ends. Just getting rid of the treadmill and the clothes made a huge yeah. difference. I've That's got Craig right. folding the clothes now. So now what I've done is I've got two bins and I've labeled them now or never. Okay. Anything that you're using in your life now gets to stay. Okay. Anything that you've been holding on to and avoiding making the decision because you think maybe someday you're gonna need it, it's gonna go in there. Okay. Because Shelly is sentimental, I'm having her make absolute choices about her stuff. This way, decision making should be easier. So these cassette tapes, will you use them now? Are you gonna view them in your life now? Yes, yes. Okay. What about this lamp? Does it fit your decor now? I think, I think I need it here. I think so. Recognize that you're not the same person you were 10 years ago, and your tastes have changed. Surround yourself with things that reflect who you are today. What, what are you thinking? Yeah, maybe I should keep, keep them. I know it's hard to let go. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy thing. Mm -hmm. And you are mm -hmm. gonna feel that sort of, almost like a grieving when you're letting go of these things. Yeah, that's but right. But in right. the end, you will feel the relief. It's just, yeah. it's just hard at first. To help Shelly adjust to the process of letting go, I'm gonna change the scenery and have her tackle the stuff that came out of the office. Okay, Shelly, are you surprised when you see <laughs> it all am, spread actually, out? Yes. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff, and we got to get yes. through it. Okay. okay, so let's get started. Where did that come from? Oh, that was a gift I meant to hang it a long time ago. <laughs> so I will use it. It's from Niagara Falls. What are we gonna do with the hand? Talk to the hand. <laughs> okay. What would you do? I'm not sure. I have to think about that one. You have to think about it. I'll have to think about it. This is the ponder bin, okay. okay? I'm gonna put it in here for now. So okay. I'm gonna let you put off some of the decisions today, but okay. only until tomorrow. All right. Fair enough? That's fair. Putting off decisions will almost guarantee the buildup of clutter. But if you're not quite ready to let something go, give yourself a deadline and stick to it. That will help stop clutter in its tracks. For artwork that's this size, I've got something that's perfect for it. Okay. This is an artist portfolio. Oh, very nice. And it's in a fun color for kids. So all you do is you pop the artwork in there. It's very roomy. Now, once it's full, you don't buy another one. You start purging. Using a portfolio will prevent the large pieces of artwork from getting crushed and crumpled. Preserving your kids' special projects for years to come. 
Shelly, you got more artwork than I thought you did. So as you go through it, anything that you want to keep, I want you to put in this bin. Okay. All right? Let's get started over here. Keep that. I love mom. I love dad. I keep that. If I don't crack the whip on the kids' artwork, there'll never be an end to it. If Shelly doesn't become ruthless about what comes into her house, she's going to be totally overwhelmed by the time the kids are in high school. So you're halfway there to filling this bin, Shelly. Now, would you agree that this is a reasonable amount to hold on to? So, I don't know. That's the hard thing. Like, I, I would keep more than that. For me to be able to give you a space that you can relax in, a mm -hmm. space that you can focus in, mm -hmm. we need to eliminate all of the clutter. I'm going to give you tonight mm -hmm. to go through all of this artwork and pare it down to two of these bins. Okay. Okay. And... I want decisions on all of the ponder items. You feel guilty? Yeah, well you do. And you think, oh, I'll never, never see this stuff again, right? There's... Shelly wants functional and relaxing spaces, but her bedroom and office are overwhelmed with clutter. So, I don't know, that's the hard thing. Like, I, I would keep more than that. She has a chance to make a change in her life for the better. It's up to her, now or never. How'd it go last night, Shelly? It, it went well. I took my time and uh, pared it down <laughs> considerably. Yeah, what kind of feelings were going through your guilt? <laughs> yeah, I felt guilty. You felt guilty? Yeah, well, you do. And you think, oh, I'll never, never see this stuff again, right? There's... It was hard. It was really hard, but I thought about what you said, and it made sense. I'm picturing the, what's going to look like after. Now, what about the ponder stuff? What did you decide? I have decided I'm going to give it away. Fantastic. Um, I am so proud of you. <laughs> you did it. All right, so I'm glad now that you have this revelation because mm -hmm. we have so much more stuff to go through, and I need quick decisions today because we got to get through it. Okay. Shelly's made a choice about the now, and she'll never go back to the way she was. All right, let's see if we can pare down some of these papers. Her goal for her spaces will keep her motivated for the work ahead of us. Okay, now that we've pared down the papers, I'm gonna make some temporary files, and then when you come back for the reveal, I'm gonna show you a big surprise. Okay. Shelly's office was overwhelmed by papers, papers, and more papers. We're sorting through so that I can give her a system that will make dealing with paper a snap. This is just temporary, so don't worry. It's great. It's okay. That on top. And this is the last time you're going to see your papers in piles all over the floor. <laughs> That's the relief. So we just have a few more things to finish up in here. Okay. All right. What about this? Okay, that goes in the never one. And this? That goes in never. 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 Right. Shelly, these are all the bath products and we separated them into categories. So okay. I just want to do a real quick, you know, now or never, okay. and we'll go from there. Purge cosmetics often. Moisturizers, foundations, and lipsticks are good for about a year. Mascara, three months. While the crew is getting some of the bulky stuff out of the bedroom, I can get to work on my plan. I'm going to bring in a bed, laundry free, matching his and her dressers so they each have a place to store their clothing, some seating that doubles as storage, now, in this bathroom, these gigantic bottles, they're out. What Shelly really needs in here is some proper storage. Now, Shelly, the problem with these cupboards is that there's no shelving, and that makes it very difficult to organize your toiletries in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So here's a solution for you. I got you this tower. Come have a look. I've labeled it with the different categories that you would normally find in a bathroom. Now, to make you even more organized, inside, I've put cutlery trays. Wow, that's great. And that way you've got dividers so that your products are even easier to access and see. You know exactly what you have. You know when you're running low, you can purchase more and you don't get duplicates. That's great. This is just gonna pop in there and save you a lot of grief. Okay, Shelly. All those hard decisions are going to pay off. You'll see when you come back. I need your keys, though, because okay. I still have some more to do. You go and relax. Okay, well, thanks, Helen. Okay. I'll see you then. Fresh paint, some functional furniture, and lots of hard work. Shelly's spaces are in for a real treat. Oh, I don't believe it. It's gorgeous. Shelly 
Emily was unable to let things go, and she was stressed out by the clutter. I don't know. By focusing on what she needs now, Shelly was able to make choices about things she never used. When the kids bring things home, I'm going to make a decision at the time. And then you don't end up with piles of things that you feel guilty about getting rid of. Now Shelly has spaces she can always be relaxed in. I'm feeling very excited. <laughs> very full of anticipation. I couldn't possibly look worse than it was. So I know I'm going to be happy. Hey, Shelly. Hi, Helen. How, How are, are you? you? Are you excited? I'm very excited. OK, well, come on up. Are you ready? I'm ready. Come oh, on in. Oh, my god. Come on in. Do you like it? It's so beautiful. It's fresh. It's organized. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Before, Shelly's den used to be piled with paper and clutter from all over the house. Now this is an office with a designated desk for Shelly and ample workspace for other family members. You call this place a den. Yes, that's but right. But I wanted to turn it into your office. Yes. A place where you could come in, focus, right. do your work, and get out and enjoy the rest of your life with your family. That's right. Look at this. Because I know you're a piler. Oh yes, yes. This is a literature sorter. OK. And it's the ideal filing system for pilers. Right. Because you can okay. still pile it, and it's just as easy to put in here as yep. it is to put on the floor. Yes. Everything is labeled, though. That was just perfect. Absolutely perfect. So, check out the closet. Oh, my gosh. Look at these labels. And, oh, my god. Now, goodness. think for a minute what the closet used to look like. <laughs> Decades of unmade decisions. Yeah. There. yeah. Now, it's a usable space. I got you these great baskets for the kids artwork that comes in. So it okay. can go immediately in that box. So you always keep on top of the kids' artwork. Right. Before, this office wasn't working. Now systems have been put in place to fit Shelly's organizing style. Supplies are within arm's reach, and a new bookcase provides lots of room to grow. OK, you ready to see the bedroom? I am. All right, follow me. OK. OK, Shelly, check out your new oh bedroom. Gosh. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's like something out of a magazine. <laughs> it's just absolutely gorgeous. Before, this room was full of distractions and there was no place to relax. Now this room provides a tranquil getaway for Shelly and provides clever storage solutions. <laughs> have you noticed? You have a his and hers oh. dresser. So we're not gonna oh, have laundry all over the floor. Yes. Nothing is calling to you anymore. That's right. No unfinished <laughs> jobs to do right. in here. That sounds good to me. <laughs> Tell me there's a place for me to have a bath. <laughs> ah, you took the words right out of my mouth. <sighs> what do you think? Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. You can actually soak <laughs> in your beautiful tub. Right. Now, remember you had all your cosmetics nice. yes. strewn about here? Yes. What do you think of it now? It's very clean looking, very organized. Simple shelving solutions have created valuable space that Shelly needs in her bathroom. Now that we've eliminated the overload of clutter, mm -hmm. you're going to have less stress in your life and more time for fun. That sounds good to me. Thank you so much, Helen. You're welcome. Helen's taught me that, that less is more. It's, it's really better to have less stuff, things that really mean something to you. Put, maybe put over there the ones that you don't want to keep, okay? I'll be able to make better use of my time and, and uh, enjoy the rooms and get on with my day without searching through clutter. <laughs> oh, this is so comfortable. Oh, it sure is. I'm not going to be a piler anymore. <laughs> my piling days are over. <laughs>